Welcome to this video giving a short introduction into advanced view building with the core data services in ABAP on SAP HANA based on SAP NetWeaver application server ABAP 7.4 service package 5. The core data services, short CDS, is a collection of domain specific languages and services for defining and consuming semantically rich data models in HANA. The domain-specific languages are based on entity relationship models and mainly comprise a data definition language, a query language, and an expression language. The basic idea behind integrating CDS into the ABAP server is to support the code push down to the database layer and also to simplify the consumption of relational data models by means of few entities. Semantically rich data models can now be defined in DDL source objects, which are integrated in the ABAP dictionary. The code pushdown is supported through extended view functionalities, such as unions and associations, which are not provided in OpenSQL. CDS is fully integrated in the ABAP infrastructure. OpenSQL can be used on view entities, making it possible to optimize OpenSQL-based applications. The current optimized way for using HANA views in ABAP is the so-called bottom-up approach. First, the HANA views has to be developed in the HANA server and then exposed as external view in the ABAP server. A HANA delivery unit and the corresponding HANA transport container are required to ensure that dependent ABAP and HANA content is transported together. As we can see, this approach involves the problematic of having different independent life cycles and transport management systems for dependent HANA and ABAP content. Also, no extensibility mechanism to handle customer-owned field is provided. A solution for this cumbersome approach is provided by means of CDS views. Developers are now able to create and manage the whole lifecycle of HANA views in an ABAP development environment. With this top-down approach, the CDS view is defined in an ABAP DDL source object and the corresponding HANA view is then automatically created on the database during the CDS activation. The benefit of this approach is that only the CDS view has to be transported with the tra standard ABAP transport mechanism. No HANA delivery and no HANA transport container are involved in the process. Developers only need the ABAP development tools for building and managing the CDS view. There is no need for an additional HANA development user or for the SAP HANA Studio. A DDL source object containing a relatively simple view definition is displayed on the screen. We can see the name of the CDS view entity and the name of the associated SQL view, which is fully managed by the ABAP dictionary. This name is also used for the database representation of the view. We can also see some of the available features. The question generally coming up at this point is when to use CDS views instead of OpenSQL. Well, OpenSQL is the first instrument for ABAP developers for pushing down data intensive processing to the database layer. Several enhancements have been provided in this area with the latest SAP NetWeaver deliveries. For example, aggregate functions, arithmetic and conditional expressions. But when it comes to the reuse of data models or the use of features not available in OpenSQL like unions and associations, then it makes sense to consider the CDS-based advanced view building. Let's now quickly go to the system and check how to access and preview an existing DDL source object. I will open the CDS view definition just shown in the presentation. DDL sources are located under the dictionary hierarchy folder of a package. 
Syntax coloring, code auto completion, and quick fix functions are supported in the editor. The data can easily be previewed by selecting the context menu entry Open Data Preview of a DDL source object. If you want to have a demonstration on the Advanced View Building, I will refer you to the video Building Core Data Services Views in ABAP on SAP HANA. This is the end of the video. For more information, guides and tutorials, please visit our homepage on SCN.